Welcome to Bainbridge Island, Washington. This is my little writing study where I spend so much of my time, but I probably spend most of my time out here in this lovely garden setting. And then right here is our favorite gathering spot when the weather's nice. And there's my favorite mountain, Mount Rainier. I have been at this writing craft pretty much all my life, but I published my first book 31 years ago. It's probably something I was called to do when I was a little kid and never looked back. I like to get up as early as I possibly can. It's easier in the summer when it's we have our long days here in the Pacific Northwest. What I do is I compose the manuscript in longhand and I get that draft out as quickly as I can. Towards the end, I'm much more meticulous. I need a, you know, a typescript on the computer. And so that's actually what I was just finishing here for Oysterville. I thought that I had a perfect manuscript and then I started reading it. And suddenly, you know, I'm making all these changes, but it's all to the good. And that whole process for me takes about a year. I always recognize an idea that has heft and that has weight. Like when the Oysterville Sewing Circle idea came to me, it wasn't like a lightning bolt. It was more like a meteor shower of all these bright, um, shiny things that were occurring to me simultaneously. I don't go looking for issues, but I find issues that provoke me. I love when that happens. I love when something that feels really relevant to me also has the same response in readers. So we're in my husband's design studio. I call it the Atelier. One of my favorite things about writing is that I get to live other lives. I get to have other careers virtually by learning about them. Probably my favorite thing to inhabit is Caroline in the Oysterville Sewing Circle because she's based on my husband, Jerry. I really wanted to talk about her creative process, but I wanted to do it in a way that was very authentic and true to who she was. And fortunately for me, it's right here in my own backyard. I have to say that writing is more of a, is as much a calling as it is my work. My biggest measure of success is when I hear from a reader that she loved my book, or that his aunt loved my book, or that um, you know that she brought it to her book club and they all liked it. So that's probably the peak. Mm -hmm. 